with Call of Duty Cold War coming out of the brand new zombie map Firebase Z comes the brand new wonder weapon, the Ray K87. And now this thing is so much fun to use. It's literally a ray gun mixed with, obviously, an AK-47. So, you actually do need this to complete the full map Easter egg, which I will be providing a full breakdown about that uh, later on this week over here on the same YouTube channel. So make sure you guys do press subscribe if you guys do appreciate these kind of zombie tutorials because I absolutely love making them for you guys. And before we jump into the actual steps required, I do want to let you guys guys know that we're live almost every single day over on twitch.tv slash Zebedar with Cold War, Warzone, and a lot of zombies too. I'll tell you, this Firebase map I'm absolutely loving. I'm absolutely loving grinding out the different Easter eggs, the different uh, weapons, and whatever it may be too. So check me out over there guys. I'll see you guys there and let's jump into the video. Starting us off right here, we want to make sure we turn the power on in the data center just by activating the simple crystal in the middle and then protecting all three of the uh, other orbs around the data center. From here, this will actually grant you access over to the weapon labs. And so this door will open. You're able to go over here and purchase this door. Once you come into the weapons lab, take a left and access this weapons blueprint and take that off the wall. That's the first piece. Now from there, you're gonna wanna head all the way over to the other side of the map, over to the Scorch defense area. This is where all the tanks are blown up and you'll see this war bunker. And like I mentioned, the flaming tanks. And you wanna hit, jump over this wall of sandbags, head over to this dead corpse, which is Dimitri. And now this is gonna get a little bit gory. I'm actually gonna censor this out for you too, but basically you're cutting out his eyeball. Yep, sounds really, really beautiful, right? Sounds very pleasing to watch and the cutscene itself is very long as well so just make sure no zombies are around you they won't attack you but once you pop out from the animation you definitely don't want to be uh, turned and faced with a whole horde of zombies so basically you're gonna retrieve the eye right here you're gonna also grab this little uh intel piece right next to there come back to the weapons lab drop the eyeball in the retina scanner this is gonna activate a small little cutscene if you will uh, basically showing that the computer is now on which will then give you access to a locker key now this locker key you're gonna take all the way over to the two barracks in the middle of the map and you're gonna open up these lockers and basically you're gonna wait until you open up a locker and you're gonna hear a sound of one of the mimics spawning and then you're gonna kill a mimic and you're looking for a specific yellow part that will drop from one of these mimics so you will see here we kill the first mimic it does not drop that yellow part so we have to go back and open additional lockers and and um, we actually have to switch over to the other barracks as well because we ran out of lockers in that first one. But either way, when you do get that second mimic um, to spawn, you guys will probably more than likely get that yellow piece from that second mimic, which you will see in one second. As I mentioned, you would hear the sound of the mimic spawning like that. And then from there, as you wait for it to spawn in the map, which it does right here, when we go ahead and kill it, it drops that yellow piece. We pick that up, obviously, and then we move on to the next step, which requires you to come back to the weapons lab, access this computer, and this computer is going to ping three different locations on that little radar that you see. And you guys are going to have to remember exactly which locations those are in, as then we're going to head back to spawn through the teleporter and actually head back to the initial person we speak to, Nikolai, in the uh, beginning here. And right to the left, there's a dartboard. Now, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Do not use the AUG to shoot the dartboard. In fact, I'll show you guys a little trick, if you will. But I've learned here that with the AUG, obviously it shoots three bullets at once, as is a burst assault rifle. It does not access and does not uh, continue on with uh, building out this Ray K. So, what you're going to have to do is actually head back out to the main street. We're following Psyduck right here. And to the right, you guys can buy a simple Magnum. It's uh, very cheap to buy a little green Magnum. And this will actually help you activate that dartboard so if you guys don't have a, an accurate weapon if you guys don't have a single shot weapon definitely buy the pistol your weapon will still be there outside uh when you are done with this dartboard uh part of the easter egg and so basically once you're done hitting the three different locations make sure you guys hit that bullseye in the middle that will drop your next piece go ahead and collect that and we're moving on to our next part which requires you actually to survive past round 15. At round 15, you will get one of those assault missions and the assault rounds where basically you have to defend a certain area of the map for an entire round. From there, one of these manglers will spawn and you just shoot off their specific arm. I'll show you guys in slow-mo right here. But basically, you guys will shoot off that arm right there. You guys will get that yellow piece. Now come back over to the weapons lab again. You're going to go ahead and instead of going left to the computer, take a right here and put that ammo slot right there on the table. And now you guys have to wait 
wait an entire round or two. Sometimes we've been able to get it in one round. Sometimes we've had to wait two rounds. Either way, you'll hear an audio cue when that ammo clip is ready to be taken and is fully charged. And then from there, once you guys pick that up from this table over here on the right, you're going to be able to go ahead and go back to the computer area, to that weapons work workbench, and construct this ray k87 and from there you guys will have so much fun with this thing i absolutely love it and like i said too this is required for the main easter egg for the entire map as well which i will be covering in a youtube video that should be uploaded hopefully later this week uh depending on uh my schedule and whatnot but either way this gun is just so much fun to use you guys can see i mean we absolutely slay out here there's a grenade launcher featured as well which i'll showcase a little bit further but i do want to jump forward to a little bit of the um upgraded gameplay if you will from when we actually got this pack too so let's jump into that so unlike previous wonder weapons in previous call of duties you can actually pack a punch this ray k87 i went ahead and actually pack a punch it twice it's the usual cost and you can pack a punch like a normal weapon and so this thing is unbelievable when it's actually pack a punch i mean the damage it does the damage it deals is unbelievable i know for the final boss i was hitting i think 820 per shot which is unbelievable um and so basically like i mentioned before there's a grenade launcher aspect to this which i will be showing off in this gameplay here at the end but i absolutely love the idea of an AK-47 mixed with a ray gun, right? I mean, talk about uniqueness, right? There's only so many times that I can see the ray gun be used in a zombies game. I mean, when we saw it in Die Machine, I was like, okay, that's cool and everything, but give us something new, right? And this is absolutely something new. And I'm not going to spoil the Easter egg of the entire map, but basically with the AK and how this ray K ties in to the Easter egg of this map, I'm very excited to see what the future brings in terms of zombies. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and, and again, you guys will just see again how much slaying this pack of punch uh, Ray K does. I believe it's actually a two shot up until round 40 from what I heard. Again, I got this footage for you guys for the Ray K plus our Easter egg footage on our second run too. So we will be hitting and aiming for those higher rounds here uh, in the next coming days over on again, twitch.tv slash Zebedar. But you guys will see right here, that grenade launcher is unbelievable. So when you shoot that grenade and that little orb pops up, if you shoot that actual orb itself, it will then blow up again and cause a ray effect, if you will, causing more damage too. So this thing is just unbelievable. And honestly, I really enjoy how easy it is to get too. They don't make it incredibly difficult. You don't need to go completely out of your way to actually obtain this weapon which is also very similar to the die machine over on the previous call of duty cold war zombies map as well which again i love i'm a veteran call of duty zombies player although i did take a break during the couple like last few black ops maps just because they got a little bit too complicated and a little bit too overloaded with new features gobble gums and all that so i'm very happy with this new map of the firebase as well as die machine and i will be making more tutorials and more guides coming in the future so make sure you guys do press that subscribe button down below leave the comment down below if you guys have unlocked the ray k what do you guys think about this gun and do you guys like the steps that it takes to get that is it, is it too simple is it too difficult let me know in the comments below anyway guys top box is a previous video bottom box is a mystery video just like always feels so good to be back on youtube again guys and this is the first of many videos to come here in 2021 so i'll see you guys later peace out have a great day